More than a dozen people are behind bars tonight after allegedly stealing millions of dollars in a hospice scam in the Inland Empire. KTLA Shelby Nelson reports from Colton. Today I'm announcing that we have arrested 14 individuals and filed charges in connection with an illegal scheme involving two hospice companies based in San Bernardino. A massive hospice care scam in the Inland Empire, cheating taxpayers out of more than $4 million. Attorney General Rob Bonta detailing the years-long investigation at the Superior Court in Rancho Cucamonga. Every charge that we have made is a felony, uh, including conspiracy uh, to commit insurance fraud, insurance fraud, grand theft, and filing fraudulent insurance claims. Two doctors and three nurses are among those arrested from two hospice care facilities in San Bernardino County. Bonta says 14 people conspired to cheat and defraud Medi-Cal and Medicare by enrolling patients who were not terminally ill into hospice care. They would sign up for it, usually because they weren't told what hospice was or told it was something different than it is. In a 32-page criminal complaint, two married couples that ran the facilities are accused of building their business by paying illegal kickbacks for patient referrals. We went to both locations. What was once New Hope Hospice in Upland is now replaced with a new hospice care facility. Employees there answering our calls but had no idea about the allegations of the company there before them. In Colton, another new business also replacing Sterling Hospice Care. Now the victims left with unimaginable challenges and having to disenroll as hospice patients. They're left with the very difficult, challenging task of re-enrolling and explaining to Medicare and Drug Medi-Cal that they are victims of this scam. Legal expert Allison Treasel says the owners are in much more legal hot water than others receiving kickbacks. For the owners of the hospice facilities, they are looking, if convicted, at spending decades in prison. The attorney general says there are at least 30 victims. There could be more out there. Now, at a time when scammers seem to be everywhere, he says he knows it's difficult, but read the fine print. And if you don't feel comfortable, don't sign off on anything. Reporting in Colton, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.